Now I want to stretch you a bit further. This question asked for angles between 0 and 360. But without that restriction, it's possible to get this angle and this one, or go around the whole circle again, add another 60 degrees or another 120. Go around a whole nother circle, add another 60, another 120. I can add as many lots of 360 as I like, even negative ones. So what we can say is, for a general solution, this is called a general solution, my angle would be, I'm going to write general solution, my angle would be 60 or 120 plus some number of 360s, n times 360. That's called a general solution. And I can actually be a little bit more clever again. To get 60 or 120, I could have gone to the 90 and gone 30 degrees either way. Alternative general solution would be 90 plus or minus 30 plus some number of 360s. Now this is more difficult, the general solutions are more difficult. If the question just gives you a range, just do that. But if it asks you for a general solution, it will be a harder question. I want either of these. I don't actually mind which. This is more helpful later, but it's not important to get it right now. Let's try B and C as well. How do I write a general solution for this? I'm getting lazy, I'm just going to go GS for general solution. My general solution here is going to be, well how did I get here? I went 180 plus or minus the 45. But let me write the same as I did here first. 135 or 225 plus some number of 360s. Or I actually think the better way to write it is 180 plus or minus 45 plus some number of 360s. And that's my general solution. And for C, remember the tan repeats every 180 degrees. So there's actually an even simpler way to write this one. My general solution for the tan is neat. We just go some number of 180 degrees plus 30 degrees. And this actually covers 30 and 210 and as many more as I like.